and this is a new uh, project I'm up to, man, because, um, you know, a lot of people have been getting on me, yo, talking about, oh, man, you never answered my question, oh, did you get my video, did you get this and that, alright, so, well, I'm, I'm starting this new, uh, you know, little endeavor right now, man, to answer all the questions that I get, you know what I'm saying, as they come. Now, if you had a question before that I didn't answer, I'm sorry about that. I apologize, man. That's how it is sometimes. All right, but now I'm, uh, I'm trying to answer these questions. And, uh, yeah, man, I hope uh, I provide satisfactory answers for you all. So, uh, so kick back and relax and let the, uh, you know what I'm saying, let the answers speak for themselves, man. All right? What's the right First question comes from a man, uh, you know, collecting jellyfish, and his question it goes like this: uh, I find it funny that these white dudes in the program talk so much junk about black folks being inferior and Japanese folks being so innocent, or that they need protecting. Um, what else? He goes on. It's an insult to both sets of people. What foolishness, man! Do you encounter dumbasses that say such stupid stuff on a regular basis? And this is for my man, Eclectic Jellyfish 88. Uh, do I encounter people uh, who talk such foolishness on a regular basis? Absolutely. Um, most of the time, yeah, man, you know, they be, uh, you know, white people. Um, white people uh, in Japan, man, you know, generally the ones I come across anyway, man, you know, are those, uh, whatever, uh, functionally, culturally challenged people who uh, don't get out of their neighborhoods wherever they come from, you know, like if they come from Oklahoma or Kansas somewhere and shit, you know what I'm saying, a lot of times, you know, they haven't had a lot of contact with black people either, or they come from Indiana somewhere, you know, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, personally, like the experience that I've seen over here, you know, yeah, you know, they come out talking dumb shit. And, uh, you know, not everybody, obviously, but, you know, yeah, of course, you know what I'm saying, some uh, racist motherfuckers that, you know, probably they don't even know that they're racist, but, you know, people, you know, a lot of times, you know, come out their face talking uh, stupid shit. And you know what's fucked up, too, man, about, uh, you know, like, it's true, man, white people don't take racism for a second, but they'll tell you to grin and bear it. Take it. So yeah, man, you know, I had this one dude one time talking about like, you know, uh, about this, this this company over here that uh that don't hire Jamaicans and shit. You know what I'm saying? Now he was saying, oh yeah, well, you know, half the people who come from Jamaica, we don't even understand what they're saying. We don't understand Jamaican. The way Jamaican people speak English is different. All right, that's cool, you know what I'm saying, I got that, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, you know, the way you uh, English, British people speak cockney, man, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people don't understand, y'all, you know what, y'all ain't got no reason to say shit about people like that, and yeah, and, uh, yeah, I didn't say the name of that program because of, you know, a few issues, all right, you know. Alright, so no, but this one comes from my man, um, real man Allen. Says shout out to him. That brother's deep. I like him. A lot of good videos. Uh, he said, I wanted to know if you could verify this for me. I want to emulate his voice. A lot of us brothers are here in the States. I've been hearing about how a lot of those Asian women be falling over for the brothers. I figured that if there's anybody who can, you can definitely help us out in that department. Your insightful input would be greatly appreciated. Well, Mr. Allen, all right, thank you very much for that uh, shout out right there. I don't know if I'm the uh, foremost authority on getting ladies and uh, whatever in any country or any country for that matter. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go, with, I'm gonna say this, man. Yeah, um, yeah Asian, Asian women ain't no different from any other women in the world, you know? Um, a woman is gonna like a man regardless, okay? Now, a lot of times what happens is, you know, um, when you get to places like Japan and everything, you know, 
particularly at this point in time, you know, in our uh, timeline of uh, cultural, uh, you know, societal environment, uh, involvement in the world, right? <laughs> Everybody think that they know everything about black people. Let's just put it, let's just put that out there. Motherfuckers listen to hip hop and then they think they know they, they think they know about black people everything. Alright? You know, one black person come over here, they tell them, you know, something about where they come from, and next thing you know, all black people will follow behind that pattern. So basically what you had over here was, you know, um, yeah, man, you know, in the 90s, yeah, brothers was, you know, brothers, you know, you know what I'm saying? Brothers was, you know, scooping up girls like that, man, a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like that, boom, effortlessly. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of white people, a lot of black women didn't really like that shit. But fuck it, you know what I'm saying? White dude, you know what I'm saying, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? He just walk into having a girlfriend just like he can walk into having a job. Now, black bitch, you know what I'm saying, you know, um, that come to Japan. Well, you know, there's a lot of different ways to, uh, you know, talk about that situation, but it's too elaborate to go into here. But uh, to answer the question uh, about Mr. Real Man Allen, yeah, um, the dynamic is, is always the same, man. You know, like a brother or anybody got confidence and it's gonna walk up into the place like you got it going on, it's pretty much gonna uh, get the attention of almost any girl. Um, but at the same time, man, you know, um, depends on the environment too. Because, you know, a lot of brothers just go to clubs to meet honeys and shit. They don't really, you know, go to libraries, they don't go to public community centers. They don't go to parks, they don't go to all this and that, so it's kind of hard to explain, but, you know, me personally, I ain't never really had no big problem getting with no Japanese girl, Asian or whatever, right? Me personally, okay? Because, you know, more or less, you know, my attitude is like, you know, I don't give a fuck because, you know, I'm making this money anyway, you know what I'm saying? I'm already, you know, setting myself a big fight. Yeah, man, got a lot of hundreds, man, but, um, not a little bit off the topic, but if you cats want to go to Funky Ass Brazil, then go to Brazil. You know, just as good as anywhere else, man. You know what I'm saying? But like me personally, I like Asia. Right? Alright, so uh, next one for my man uh, Brolicon. Shout out to my man Brolicon. Brolicon, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Brother Kanye asked this question a long time ago. Like I said, man, you know, I'm just starting this little uh, thing. You know what I'm saying? So sorry, the questions get a little backlogged a little bit. But I'm going to answer this, though. The man asked me, you know, he was like, yo, a while back you posted a vid and you mentioned not to use JapanCupid.com for pen pal. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, well, are there any sites you think are decent? Okay, pen pals. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, you know, uh, you know, due to the fact that you know, email has taken precedent over any type of communication out there, more or less. That ain't a telephone. Uh, you know, that pen pal ain't really popping like it used to be. Say, like back in the day when we used to watch, you know, Big Blue Marvel or shows like that. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the show to give us pen pal information. But uh. You know, before I came to Japan, though, this is, you know, before I first came to Japan, um, there was this magazine, uh, it was a street rag in New York City, you know, called, uh, it was called Loot, all right? It was called Loot, L-O-O-T. I don't, I don't know if that paper is still in publication, all right? But at that particular time, right, in the uh, section of Loot, in the back, right, they would have, like, a whole section of, um, pen pals or people who wanted to have pen pals from you know, Asia and Japan. Now, like I said, I don't know if this uh, paper is still in the publication, but you can check it out if it does. But, you know, then again, these days with the internet being the uh, information, uh, you know, type of uh, thing that it is, you know what I'm saying, anybody can pretty much, you know, research, oh, pen pal, pen pal. But, like I said, me, I got a gang of pen pals from this uh, newspaper. It was called Loop. And the reason why I did pen pals was because, you know, see, I knew I was coming to Japan and I knew, but, but I didn't know anybody. See, that's the thing. 
So, like I said, these days, you know, email and all this other kind of correspondence hadn't really popped off the way it has today. But even if it did, you know, you could pretty, pretty, still pretty much, you know, use that uh, medium more or less the same way. Like, I used to do a lot of pen pals when I was a kid. Right? Pen pals, you know. It was cool, but, but see, like I said, for me, I knew I was coming to Japan, I knew I didn't know anybody, so I thought that having a pen pal would, you know, enable me to just, you know, have that much of a head start, knowing people when I came here, and then, you know, got the ball rolling, kind of, uh, you know, making friends, that sort of thing. Um, the success rate of uh, me picking up girls through pen pal was uh, uh, considerably high, you know, I would say, you know, good. 60 percent, you know what I'm saying, of the chicks that I met through pen pal. Even, you know, like I said, but that wasn't really my, um, my, 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 my goal. That wasn't my purpose for getting with a pen pal. You know, but, like I said, you know, um, yeah, you know, I just ended, it just ended up happening that way. But pen pal is good, you know. Pen pal is, is, is still good because, you know, it's a personal thing, man. You know, your own handwriting, your own ability, your own soul goes into writing that letter. And so does the person who corresponds with you. You know what I mean? Man, eclectic jellyfish. Got a whole bunch of, uh, you know, questions from him at one particular time. So his question, another question. What can the older generation teach the younger generation? I'm serious. I'm really open to learning more. Do you have any quick lessons to share with a young dude like me? Well, <laughs> well, let me think. Okay, I'm gonna say it like this. Yeah, I made that video, Young Cats Better Listen to the Vets. I made that last year. And the reason why I made that was because, you know, I got a, um, uh, uh, you know, mail from a uh, video from my man GS, y'all know who it is. And we talk about these cats that come over here to Japan, right? And when cats like GS or, you know, older cats, I'm not even gonna say, I'm not gonna put myself in that category, but, you know, cats like GS, you know, give them advice, you know, these cats don't wanna listen, all right? But you pick this, you know, Tom, Dick, and Harry kind of white boy, you don't know shit about Japan or, you know, whatever. You know, he read my fucking Shogun novels and all this other kind of shit. You know what I mean? This motherfucker, you know what I mean? Got a Japanese girlfriend and he watched him do the tea ceremony. Got him some pussy. He watched a good night. So then now he know all about Japan. And he tell these motherfuckers everything, right? So then brothers, you know, they've been here like four or five years and shit. You know what I'm saying? Can't tell these young cats shit. And then they end up being these motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Crying because they ain't getting no pussy. Or crime because all Japanese people don't like us. They don't like black people. I can't get no girl. Nah, this other kind of shit. White boys be getting their dick sucked. And you holding the door for them at the bathroom when they come out handing them towels. This is a true ass story, too, man. This shit ain't happened to me. Because, like I said, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, fuck you, motherfucker. You know what I mean? Get your own shit, man. I know what you want. But, but look, uh, what I, I advice. My advice to young cats, you know what I'm saying, come over here to Japan, okay, my advice, my advice, uh, get nice with the language as much as you can, you know what I'm saying, don't let the, uh, you know, the monstrosity or the, 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 the thought that it's so uh, difficult discourage you, and another thing, I guess the most, uh, I would say, salient advice I might be able to give you, and this is um, some, something that, that's personal to me. You motherfucking black, and it's talking about black people, man, you know what I'm saying? I don't really make it for you, other, but you come to Japan, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, soak up a little bit of the culture, brother. You know what I mean? This is why I talk about every year, man. Go out, see a, a temple, man, go visit a shrine. Participate in some of these festivals that they got out here, man. You know, meet the people. Don't just be a blackula, man. Don't just come out at night and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? Curl your ass up to a fucking uh, bar log and shit. Bitches at a club, man. That's my advice. You know what I'm saying? Get out here in the daytime. Let these Japanese people see you. You know what I'm saying? See you interacting with the people. You know, go around checking out their culture and stuff like that. And maybe, perhaps, you know what I'm saying, they might start seeing, uh, you know, brothers in a, in a different way. 
as opposed to, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, motherfuckers that's hip hopping all the time, you know what I'm saying, up to no good. In other words, you know what I'm saying, don't be like they say I am. So yeah, the next question is from my man. Uh, he used to be called uh, Cyber Stalker, Cyber Cyber Surfer. Uh, now his name is uh, Kamal Loya. Kamal Loya, I hope I pronounced that right. The brother asked me. Uh, after I come to Japan, where would I be able to find you so we can talk in person? Well, brother, generally, you know, I don't come to Japan and talk to people in person. Usually the people I like talking to is like girls, you know what I'm saying? I don't like talking to dudes. But, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I usually sometimes, I meet brothers and shit out here. Um, yeah, basically how it goes down, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, you come to Japan, you know what I'm saying? You hit me the same way you always hit me on whatever, uh, YouTube or whatever. Give you my number, you hook up, man. You know what I'm saying? You hook up. But like I said, you know, I don't all the time hang out with a whole bunch of, you know, wallflower type cats, you know what I'm saying? They be hanging around like this, hands in your pocket and shit, waiting for shit, waiting for me to shit, get shit popping so that you can, you know, come up in here and be like, hey, I'm not like him, man. Fuck all that, man. I mean, you know, that might sound kind of, kind of strange, but yeah, but you know, I, I'm available to hang out with cats. You know what I'm saying? I just don't go all the way. Yeah, a prepaid, uh, a prepaid cellular. Um, yeah, man, you ought, you, you ought to be able to get that anywhere. You know, um, uh, it used to be you could uh, get those in the uh, convenience store. You know what I mean? It used to be. Might still be that way. Um, I, I don't have, you know, what I'm saying no prepaid cellular phone, but uh, usually, all right, SoftBank. The company name is SoftBank, right? Usually they let you get a, a prepaid phone. AU might have a prepaid phone. Usually you can get them for about uh, five thousand yen, uh, equivalent to fifty dollars. Okay, and you pay as you go. Now, if I'm wrong, you know, I apologize for that, but. Uh, you know, um, any big city you go to, uh, I'm familiar more with, you know, Osaka, Osaka, Kobe, that kind of area. Um, you go to uh, Osaka, the place you got to go to is called Nippon Bashi, all right? Den Den Town or Nippon Bashi. Let me say that again. Den Den Town. Okay, see, because I know you brothers be acting like, oh, everything you say in another country is so impossible to say. So let me say that. Den, Den, Town. Okay, Den, Den, Town, Osaka. It's called Nippon Bashi. You go over there, you might be able to get you a, uh, you know, a prepaid phone. Can you use wireless over here? Of course you can, man. This is Japan, man. Home of the technology. Alright? So, look. I hope that is that question. Right. Yeah, how's it like in Osaka? Oh well, okay. Well, you know, Osaka is the second largest city in Japan. How I feel about Osaka, this is my personal opinion. There's only a few people that might agree with me, but um, this is just me. Stand out. All you motherfuckers out there that's coming up talking about, well, I was in Osaka and it was more like than me. Okay, well, that's cool. That's cool. So maybe motherfuckers should ask you. But since they asked me, I'm gonna tell you what's up. Alright, now, Osaka's, you know, Osaka's cool and Osaka's fucked up. Now, everybody talk about like how friendly Osaka people are. Yeah, that might be true. Okay, compared to other big places in Japan. Yeah, it might be true. But uh, I'm gonna say something else about Osaka people. Osaka people is country as hell. Okay, now country might not be bad for some people, but for me, it's kind of you know country. Kind of irks, kind of gets under my skin sometimes. Now, what I mean by that, you know what I'm saying? not the fact that, okay, like, see, you know, America, when I go down south into the country, it ain't the fact that I don't like the country. 
I hate the mentality and I hate the country bullshit that go on down there. You know what I'm saying? So like the same thing, when you go to the country, you know what I'm saying? You don't hate the country itself. Because, you know, the country is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful. You know what I mean? It's, it's rustic. Okay? But what you don't like is the country ass motherfuckers that you meet over there. Okay? So that being said, you know what I'm saying? You know, Osaka be like the only place. You are know, honestly the only place. But you be like in Osaka, you be like downtown Osaka with concrete city street graffiti and everything and you see a fucking old ass man with pajamas and slippers on and shit like it ain't no thing you know what i'm saying that's what i mean country you know what i'm saying like you know motherfuckers over here in osaka osaka they be like osaka people walk fast and talk fast okay they might talk fast and they might have this unique you know what i'm saying dialect or whatever right but yo osaka motherfuckers compared to new yorkers osaka motherfuckers man Talk, yeah, yo, they, they walk slow as hell, man. They walk so slow, they might as well be walking backwards. Osaka people walk like they got molasses in their ass all day, all right? Osaka motherfuckers think they can fight. Osaka motherfuckers is the weakest, you know what I'm saying? Yo, they talk this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know, well, when they talk in Japanese, they scare other Japanese people. They be like, Horundara, Horundara. You know what I'm saying? You know, Teme, bra, bra, bra. Yeah, he dick, come on, stir, bra, bra, all that bullshit, right? That scared other Japanese people, but for, for, you know, brothers coming from New York and shit, you'd be like, yeah, alright, brother, yeah, alright, right, whatever, right? Musaku, you know, motherfucker, you shit, motherfucker, go down the way. Unless his name is Musashi or somebody like that. You know, fucking Kula, um, uh, picking up girls in Osaka, yeah, you should be able to pick up some decent honeys in Osaka. Kobe, in my opinion, got better looking broad than Osaka, but then, you know, like I said, you don't have to take my word for it because as soon as I say anything that, you know, has conviction behind my statement, you get a whole bunch of other people, particularly white crackers and racists and shit, you know what I'm saying, just send them club suckers. You know what I'm saying, to, to, to dispute what I said. So like I said, you know, but this is just me, okay? So, uh, yeah, again, you know, uh, I think Osaka, more or less, you know, Osaka people kind of, you know, favor whites, and particularly Australian whites over any other type of white, you know what I'm saying, that's me, okay? Black people, you know what I'm saying, you know, whatever, second fiddle kind of shit. Tokyo, you know what I'm saying, I heard, but see, brothers get mad love in Tokyo, I'll tell you, but brothers get mad love is in Tokyo and Nagoya, but see, then again, like I said, that could be me, that, once again, that's me, alright, but uh, if I start talking about Osaka and all this other kind of shit, like I said, I'll be here all day, so you know what I'm saying, we have to go and get going to that in another video, but I'm going to tell you something, Osaka is the only city I've been to in Japan, where I can see a t-shirt that says, fuck Tokyo. You know what I'm saying? Fuck Tokyo. That sucks, man, because Tokyo the kind of place that Japan should be proud of because, you know, uh, almost everybody over there speak English or you can, you know, get it. So, shout out to my man, A. Kencha. All right, so my man, come on, lawyer again. How can I become a citizen of Japan? I do, alright, in a nutshell, I know you asked me this question a while back, but I'm going to answer it right now, because there might be some other people, so for whatever reason, who might have the same question. Okay, in a nutshell, okay, uh, to be a, a Japanese citizen, to be a Japanese citizen, you have to, uh, basically, you have to speak Japanese at a uh, Japanese person level, like, you know, a native Japanese speaker level, practically. And you have to be able to read that Chinese character and everything. Thoroughly. You have to be pretty high on the proficiency. And then uh, you have to renounce your American citizenship. And then I think it's something else too. Uh, you have to be able to recite the Japanese constitution or know about it or something like that. All right? Me personally, I'm not interested in becoming a Japanese citizen, but for those of you who are, you are looking to it, it's on the website. You know what I'm saying? Looking for the um, yeah, immigration, whatever. Look for it, right? 
well face, but uh, no disrespect, man. You know a lot of people, man. Um, I joined Facebook, man, because you know it was a way for me to you know stay in contact with family scattered you know throughout the world because you know I'm traveling all over the place and everything, and you know that's that's the reason why I got Facebook. And you know, yeah, of course, for some choice females, you know what I'm saying, I get my Facebook, but generally, man, you know, I don't put my Facebook out there like that. You know, I appreciate, you know, people want to you know, keep in contact, but, you know, to me, man, Facebook, man, is a bunch of bullshit. Me personally, you know what I'm saying? You know, Facebook, Facebook comments be like, oh, I woke up today, the sun was shining. I like it when the sun shines. You know what I'm saying? Bullshit like that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got the kind of time, and you know, like, motherfuckers be, you know, looking at your Facebook and shit. They don't leave no comment on here say what's up or happy birthday to you or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You give a motherfucker your Facebook, and then, you know, motherfuckers just be looking at your pictures. Photos, photos, photos and shit. Motherfuckers, give a motherfucker just an opportunity to spy into your life. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect, homie. My man, I appreciate it, but like, nah, I don't, I don't put people up on Facebook. Like, you really, really, really got to share some shit with me, then yeah, we can talk about it, hit me on the PM, and then on the PM, then I'll be like, okay, yeah, 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 okay, here, Facebook, whatever, man, you know what I'm saying, but generally, man, you know what I'm saying, I ain't gonna be doing no Facebook shit with y'all, man, you know what I'm saying, sorry about that, but don't worry about it, ain't the end of the world, and you know what I'm saying, like I said, Facebook ain't shit anyway, so, get over it. <laughs> Last question is from my man, uh, K5LTA. I think it's called K5 Leader. You know what I'm saying? probably saying that right. <laughs> K5 was like, yo, your boss, you gonna talk about that brother Christopher Donner? <laughs> yeah, I, I missed all that, man. Uh, that Christopher Donner, all that drama that went on over there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, with the brother, XLA PD going out, you know, shoot people like that. Well, what can I say, folks? You know what I mean? Like, if, if I didn't tell you, man, that deep in my heart, man, I was kind of cheering for the brother, kind of hoping that, you know, he kind of got away or he, you know, iced a couple of the racist ass cops. Yo, if I didn't say, it, I'd be lying if I didn't tell you. I wasn't kind of thinking that a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, they took that brother real seriously. Um, you know, that's how it is, man. You, know, you got to take it seriously. You know what I'm saying? People ain't going to take all that, you know, bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and, and when it comes to people ruining careers, dude, I know all about that, man. I know all about it, man. Um, it's happened to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, and particularly the people who've done the most to damage my career have been uh, white males, black women, and uh, you know, Asian males, and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's, that's, that's the uh, world order tag team. You know what I'm saying? White man, black woman, and the Asian man. You know what I'm saying? Asian man is pretty much, you know what I'm saying, the damn uh, sidekick like Kato and shit. But no, no, no. But, let me, but before I get into that, man, because, like, you know, kind of segue into another thing that I wanted to say for another uh, speech. But since I'm here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, give it up for Dennis Rodman. He went to North Korea. Everybody bitching about, oh, he went to North Korea. Oh, why did Dennis Rodman go to Korea? Oh, this and that shit. See, if that had been Steve Nash or Larry Bird or some shit like that, everybody had been happy then. They'd be like, oh, he went to North Korea. Oh, he went to North Korea. Oh, yeah, it's great. Oh, North Korea is opening up their country. Yeah, and white people and Asians, we can get together and it's going to be wonderful. White men, white people, shit. You know what I'm saying? But see, Dennis Rodman, you know what I'm saying? One of the greatest rebounders in the NBA history. Of course, you know, Dennis Rodman wasn't always the most, you know, you know, cordial, congenial type brother. And I don't I don't approve of cats wearing, you know, wedding dresses and girl clothes and shit, but still, you know what I'm saying, that brother was flamboyant, he had his own style, and you gotta respect that. He went to North Korea, you know what I'm saying? That that closed ass country didn't invite nobody up in there, but then they gonna invite the Harlem Globe try to invite black people. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? 
Oh yeah, and check out these motherfuckers over here. Nah, I ain't But anyway, uh, yeah man, that's about it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like I said before, send y'all questions in. We try to hook you up, man. You know what I'm saying? I'll take the first 10 questions. I'll take the first 10 questions. If, if, if they, they start overflowing my thing like they did the other, um, the other account side, that's what's in production. You know what I'm saying? If you start over flooding out, I'll, you know, start breaking them down. But I'll do this every other, every other, you know, month or something like that. If I get, if I get a lot of questions, all right? So thank you a lot for the support. You know what I'm saying? You have some, get out of here, man. Uh, cook for God, boss, man. Peace. Thank you.